and welcome to this week's video, which is going to be all about how I stay tanned during the colder months, which are sadly approaching here in Canada, slash, they've already hit. Last night was real cold. Let me tell you, my fingers were numb. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a review and demonstration of a product that I was recently sent and also recently fell in love with. It is my new favorite self-tanner. I genuinely love this stuff. I think it's amazing. And I'm going to tell you guys all the reasons why. So the brand is called Tanceuticals, and these are the products that I was sent right here. I have the Tanceuticals Color Correct Self Tanning Body Lotion in Dark, and the Color Correct Self Tanning Face Lotion, as well as the Tanning Mitt. So I'm going to go through my review of the products, I'm going to go through a couple of categories and list all the things that I like about it, and if there's anything that I don't like about it, I'll let you know, but I don't really think there's anything that I don't like. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a demonstration of how I apply this product and some tips and tricks for self-tanning at home and all that good stuff. So I'm really sorry about the exposure. I feel like I don't look that tanned in today's video because the lighting in my house is just so bad, guys. So I apologize if the clips in this video don't look like that shocking, like the difference, but I promise you this tan is amazing. If you want to see more pictures of how the tan looks, I'm probably going to be posting some on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there. And also be sure to subscribe if you are new here because I would love it if you guys would stick around. I have a lot more fun videos in store. So let's just jump on into the review and demonstration of the products. Firstly, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of some of the reasons why I really love this self-tanner. So one of the things that I really love about this tanning company is that they are cruelty-free, which is really nice because you can use the product and not feel guilty about it. So that's my number one pro about this product. The first criteria that I'm going to talk about is smell. Guys, I am a very, very sensitive person when it comes to smell. I don't know what it is, but I've tried like probably 90% of all the other self-tanners out there on the market. Market and for some reason even if they claim to not have a smell to them I will go to bed and wake up the next morning and I just feel groggy and gross because the smell is like made my throat feel irritated I don't know if any of you guys get that too but I've had that with like all the other self tanning products that I've used it's guys this product actually smells good like it doesn't have a bad smell or like no smell but it actually has a good smell like I would use this on any day it smells like coconuts and like a tropical island, which if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm really into like coconut smells. So I was really, really pleased when I put this on myself and I actually smelled nice. I will say, however, though, the next day, like once you've slept in it and I feel like it's kind of developed, it does kind of turn into that weird tanning smell, but like nothing intrusive. I woke up, I didn't feel gross or anything like that because by the time you wake up, you're going to wash it off anyways. So the second area that I'm going to cover is blendability. And sometimes with self tanners, if they're lotion, they can be a little bit harder to blend out. I don't know. I feel like my skin doesn't adapt to lotions that easily. Like, I feel like I really have to put a lot on. I don't know why I'm not really dry. It's just that things don't blend out so easily. So this product is actually a lotion, as I mentioned earlier. So as you will see in the little clip, it is like a liquidy formula, which is really, really nice. I find that it's very, very easy to apply, especially when you're using the mitt. It just kind of like, they go hand in hand together. It's very easy. You don't need that much product and it's very smooth and easy to blend out. So I highly recommend getting the mitt as well because that way you're not going to have your palms of your hands stained, which is always really annoying. I thought it was very easy to apply and generally I'm a very lazy person when it comes to lotion and self tanners and I didn't really have that many streaks on me. So that's a good sign if I do say so myself. What's nice about the lotion is that it doesn't really have a tint to it so it's not going to stain your sheets or your clothes or anything like that. I slept in all my white sheets, guys, and there's nothing there. They look as good as they did before I slept in them. So next I'm going to talk quickly about the color and the before and after and all that kind of stuff. So generally I'm like a medium skin color, I guess you could say. I'm not really like, I don't really consider myself to be super pale, but I don't consider myself to be super dark either. Since I live in Canada, there's only like a couple months where you can really actually be tanned from like the sun and being outdoors. So I do generally kind of dip into my self-tanner around like October time when I find myself getting a little bit more pale. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with using self-tanner. If it makes you more confident, which it does to me, then go ahead, go for it as long as it's not damaging your body. So in terms of color, this is considered a dark tanning lotion. And I do find that it gives me like a pretty good tan with just one application. And I used it once last week and still kind of saw the leftovers of my tan on like day five, even though it wasn't like super pigmented, but it was still definitely there. However, with the face lotion, since I do put more products on my face on a daily basis and I am washing it and putting like 
you know, like Spectrogel and heavy products like that. So I do find that I like to apply the face lotion every other night or like a few more nights a week than I would the body lotion because it does wear off a little bit faster. But honestly, once again, it's super blendable. You just need like a pea size amount and just blend it all over your face. The skin has been pretty bad lately. You guys will see that in the clips, but that's not due to this product whatsoever. No idea why my skin is acting out at the moment, but the lotion didn't do anything to like irritate it anymore so I'm pretty happy with that as well because a lot of the times when I try face tanners they often like break me up or clog up my pores which is never cute. As you guys see I will insert a before clip of what I look like before applying the tan. So as you can see I'm not like that pale but I'm also like not that tan either. I could use a little bit of a bronze to my body. Generally what I do, I'm not gonna like, I didn't show you guys all the clips because you guys know how to shave, you know how to shower, you know how to exfoliate. I don't need to show you all that stuff. I find it kind of creepy personally. So <laughs> what I did the night before is I exfoliated, shaved, and showered obviously. So once I got out of the shower, I then dried down my body and then I used some body lotion on the parts of my body that get a little bit more dry or like the creases of my body. So I put on my elbows, my knees, my ankles, kind of around my fingers and then I also applied some lotion to my face like right here by my nose because I find that's an area where like the product can kind of build up and look kind of dark and nasty if you don't moisturize before. So I also took off all my jewelry and accessories that I wear on a regular basis because I find that if you leave these on while you're self tanning, the product will also kind of collect in these areas and make it really dark. So if you just take it off, it's simpler that way. You're not going to end up with any like weird lines or anything on your wrists or your hands. Once you're all dried off and the lotion has dried as well, then you're going to go in with the tanning lotion and the tanning mitt. So as you guys will see in the video, I just did a quick clip of me applying it to like my upper body. So I took a pretty decent amount and put it on the mitt and then just kind of blended it into my body in circular motions. I go over it like a bunch of times just to make sure everything is like super blended and I didn't miss any areas because that's the worst when you have streaks. After I've done my whole body, I then go into the face lotion and as you guys saw, I just usually put my hair up so it doesn't get in the way and I just take like a pea size amount and just blend it in. I also made sure to blend it down onto my neck. as long Along with the body lotion, I also blend that up into my neck so everything's just kind of seamless because I know that a lot of times the whole like face to neck connecting part can look a little bit awkward if you don't do it properly. So you really want to get all those areas even on your ears too because don't forget your ears are a part of your head and if they don't match your face then it might look a little weird. So after that's done I then put back all my jewelry and I head to bed. Usually I do the tanning before bed because you don't really want to put on a tan if you're going to be doing any like physical activity or getting like wet in any sort of way. So I would recommend doing it before you go to bed. As long as you let it set for like seven to eight hours, you should be good. So if you're sleeping for seven to eight hours, why not just put the tan on in the meantime? So then when I get up in the morning, I just wash it off because as I said, it does have like a little bit of an off smell. So I don't really want to be walking around like that all day and washing it off just kind of like gets off all the residue and it just kind of leaves you with a really nice flawless looking tan. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for my tanning routine and how I plan on staying tanned all of the winter long here in Canada. I'm so scared, it hasn't even begun yet. I'm gonna have a link to the products, the whole like set that I got because these products come in a set which I highly recommend getting because you pretty much get everything that you need to get like the perfect tan. So I'm gonna link that directly down below as well as their website and yeah, I highly recommend picking it up if you guys are looking for some good tanning products. So that's going to be it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are not already. So I'm going to go before my card says it's full again and I will see you all in next week's video. Ta-da!